butter was the only company that used to stock my shoe size. Yeah, people might think, hey, rich bitch, rich bitch. It's not rich bitch, it's big foot. <laughs> yes, we'll just have to excuse this wonky brow. Hey guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nalinda Koe. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you actually like it or enjoy it. And don't forget to comment down below if you enjoy the video because we like seeing positive things, yeah? If you enjoy it. So today I'm so excited because it's been so long since I actually went to this store. And from the video, you probably know that it's a butter store from the description of the video. So I headed on over to my nearest butter, which is the one in Kitale. And I got me some shoes. They may not be that exciting, but I was really excited to get them because I have not been in butter for like five years. I'm not gonna lie. Like over five years, I've not entered the butter store. And, and I remember there was only one specific butter that used to stock my shoe size when I was younger, and that was Butter Hilton. If I wanted a good pump, a good shoe, I'd have to go all the way to Butter Hilton in Nairobi. Like, and sometimes they wouldn't even have my size, and we would have to pre order. And pre ordering wasn't bad. I mean, we've come a long way. I mean, like, literally, when I say pre-order, I feel like that's a common thing nowadays. When actually those days, pre-ordering something was so, so, so uncommon. So basically, you guys get the drift of where I'm going. Like, they used to be the only people who would stock, like, a size 9 and or an 8 that fits. Because my shoe fluctuates between an 8, 8.5, eight and, and 9. And I know you guys are thinking like an eight is a common shoe size. No, the shoe sizes that we have in Kenya most of the time are fake. They are Chinese eight. <laughs> they are not real size eight. If I'm to actually buy a shoe from China, I'll probably buy a nine or a 10. And I'm not talking about a nine or a 10 US. I'm talking like, yeah, what they call a nine or a 10. But so basically I was so excited when I headed over to the, it's kind of disappointing though because <laughs> It was exciting, yes, but it was kind of disappointing because, as I said, I even in Nairobi, most butters never used to stock my shoe size. I'd have to go all the way to Butter Hilton. Yeah, people might think, hey, rich bitch. Rich bitch. Rich bitch. It's not rich bitch. I could not get, <laughs> I could not get a shoe size that fits me in all the other butters and all the other stuff would go like, try butter hilton they have large sizes and all kind of weird things but anyway <clears throat> other than that as i was saying i was kind of disappointed because i wanted heels i wanted something cute and i saw some cute shoes i wish i'd taken photos but yeah normally when i do stuff that is not for the video i don't feel like whipping out a phone or a camera i don't know how vloggers do it we're not here for the vloggers but i wanted heels or pumps or something cute and they did not have my size like legit they did not have my size they were just like eh, your size are too now so guys i have to contend with heading on over to the men's section if you don't follow me on tiktok you're gonna know what that's all about like head on over to my tiktok to see what i'm talking about but i had to go over to the men's section and get me some sneakers or some cute stuff. So let's just get into the video. It's not much stuff. I know I've talked a lot, but I had to give you the background of where I've come from with butter, eh? Yeah, so that you just don't see like rich oh, This is the bag that the goodies came in. What is it written? I didn't even know butter had a website until I went there. So it says www.butterkenya and it says surprisingly butter. Ooh. So the bag is pretty. I like it, though it looks Christmassy. I guess most people shop in butter during Christmas. Who knows? So that's why they chose red. But I got some stuff, and it's in this bag. Yeah, it's in this bag. So I got some sneakers for my son. As you know, I have a son who has a big foot, guys. My son has a big foot. You ain't gonna believe this is his shoes, and he's four years old. Like, legit. 
this a size I don't know what is this size 12 actually I paid less than 2000 I'm not lying this entire bag I paid less than 2000 Kenya shillings you ain't gotta believe it but you gotta believe it I don't know why I can show you oh yes the receipt is here guys this is butter receipt looky here I don't know whether you can see this amount here. It just says 1227 although that's not the real price because there was one item they said that was not in the system because it was a clearance item. So I don't know whether I'm supposed to expose that. I don't know. But just one item and it, that item was 500 bob. So it's about 1700 So I paid 1700 for all these items. So let's just so I got me this. I got me this for my son because he's a big foot like me. He's literally a big foot. Like, look at this. This is so long and he's only four years old. You can imagine. Like, he's long. He's long. But they're just Tommy Takis basically because the bubbly gummers. You know, I don't really like um shoelaces for small kids, especially toddlers, because they like running around and stuff and it can just make them fall. So I'm assuming this was supposed to be like for six years, seven years. But now, because he's a big foot, there was no bubble gummers that could fit him. No, none of those flippy things could fit him. Like the ones you just like flip over could fit him. None, none. So I got this for him and this was 500. No, there was 600 bob and their original topic, Tommy Takis. They just say genuine Tommy. Yeah, so they are made of jeans. Original. And there were 600 bob so let's go without it. picking up this item how can you leave butter without picking up this item this item actually brings nostalgia it's an item it's not a shoe as i say there's no heel that fitted me in that butter can you imagine none zero each and everyone that i asked i was told sold out in your side sold out in your side sold out in your side until i was like are there that many Bigfoots? If there are so many Bigfoots in this Kitale, why don't you order more shoes with that size? If there are so many Bigfoots. So if, anyway, so you cannot leave butter without this item. And as you can see, it's a pair of flip-flops, yes. <laughs> it brings nostalgia, guys. Like these are the kind of flip-flops that just bring nostalgia. And can I really remember the price? As you can see, they just have the butter in print all over it this this just reminds me of home like this was what we used to wear when we were younger this is what i'd probably still wear if i went home so let me just check the price quickly and let you know. pata pata blaze no yeah a hundred bob they were basically 109 kenya shillings a hundred bob so the next thing that i got I'm so excited because it was so long since I went to Bata and I was so happy that they have upgraded their shoes to a bigger collection. So the next thing that I got, you cannot also leave a Bata without these items. You see, when these items were being introduced into the Kenyan markets, Bata was among the first to start it off. So you cannot leave without, drum roll please, a plastic shoe. <laughs> A plastic shoe, plastic shoes, because <laughs> they surprisingly they always have plastic shoes in my size. But any decent shoe, uh, uh, they don't, they don't. Head on over to Butter Hilton. So I'm supposed to take the bus or take a flight all the way to Nairobi to get a shoe my size. <laughs> Logic. But anyway, <laughs> before you think I'm mad, these are called. Um, Honestly, hmm. I don't know. Are they the ones called? Oh, these are the Jed Navy with socks. I don't know whether the socks. Okay, they're called the Jed Navy with socks. So I guess the socks is this in a thing. Really? Maybe I was supposed to get socks for free. Who knows? But I didn't get any socks. 
so they just look like this and they're plastic and they look pretty cool as you can see they're massive and surprisingly for this they had all the way until size 10 UK size 10 and surprisingly again I could not fit a 9 I could not fit an 8 I had to size down all the way to a 7 as you can see this is a 7 there is no there is no place in this world I've ever worn a 7 none I'm telling you the truth there is nowhere on this earth I've ever worn a 7 maybe when I was in standard 6 or something of the sort I've never worn a 7 but hey so in case you want to buy these shoes, a size down, like two sizes down. So yeah, so I'm excited for this. Yeah, I don't think I need to try on these shoes really because really. Yeah, but in case you want to see me try on flip-flops, you can always write in the comment section that I want. we want to see you trying on. And these then I got these slides that are just plastic again, just for the house, like to shower in and all that. So I wanted some plastic slides and these are them. And this one's also had really big sizings because they're called Kevin's. So I guess they're for men. Yeah, so this was a size nine and I'm so happy with it. Fits perfectly, fits well. And yeah, so you can get this kind of thing in case you're interested. So yeah. much disappointment with the heels and stuff. As I said, I headed on over to the men's section, got myself a pair of sneakers, like these sneakers with cloth. I don't know what they're called because you can't say they're Converse because definitely butter doesn't stock Converse. It stocks North Stars and other similar brands like those. So I got myself these orange babies. Ooh. And as you can see, they are a whooping of size eight yes but it's a dude's size eight so still like a size nine women's so i got this converse and they just say not star and they are a really really bright orange for those of you who don't know i love orange orange is like yellow and white like africans just look good in these colors look at that next to my skin beautiful now I do have another pair of Converse, not Converse, another pair of orange sneakers that just look like this. And these ones are high tops and I actually really, really love them, but they are really, really heavy. So I cannot go anywhere with them. They are super heavy, like not ideal for walking in. So when I saw these ones, I was so excited because I actually own so many of these kind of butter things. But they're just not stars. Really pretty, really cute, really versatile. You can wear them with anything. So those ones, guess how much they were? Guess. 500. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 500 Kenya shillings, which is like $5. And the receipt is here. It says ladies conversion. Oh, they're for ladies. Surprise, surprise. I thought they were for men, but they're not for men. They're for ladies. So thank God for that. But it looked like they were put in the men's section, you know, like there was a section full of sneakers and shoes. So it says ladies conversion orange, 999 discount. 499 so i got it at 500 bob so i was so excited for that and that concludes my haul if you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for make sure you subscribe because i do this kind of thing and i will save you money i will save you money because i'm gonna be trying out everything for you i'm gonna be testing out cheap aliexpress earrings like this and letting you know whether they're hazardous or not like this one's if you haven't watched my AliExpress haul, damn, these earrings are bad. They're bad. I just had to wear them for filming because they cannot go anywhere. They are hazardous. They have a sharp needle, as you can see, for a closure. What the heck? What the heck, AliExpress? But anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao. Bye.